a little bit of background, but I, I have to say one of the things that popped out to me um, is is your study in, in the calculus of fractals, because I am fascinated by fractals. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're they're so interesting and 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 fabulous. Just tell me a little bit about that and 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 what you did and and uh, um, you know why that interests you. Multibodies and the solar system, multibody. So so it's it's kind of understood, but 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 it's a question mark. You know why? What are we supposed to do with that? That the that the way that we all study physics and mathematics by its own by its own admission or by by an obvious it's it's incapable of describing anything more complicated than two it can it can count up to two right so this whole realm of fractals i and my brother were going into it like there's got to be some way to to turn this into a physics have a different dimension fractional dimension uh say than the inside of your ear canal or the way that your nose is designed, or the way that your blood vessels are designed. And uh, this whole thing about how can something have a fractional dimension? Uh, you know, I, I, it, we all see it, we see it constantly. 